point shoes. These special type of shoes are one of the most iconic elements that you can think of when you imagine a ballerina. It is beautiful to watch a ballerina dancing on the tip of their toes. It looks amazing and effortless, or at least they make it look that way. The reality is that it's really painful and it takes years of work to make it look easy. Just imagine if they will ask you to wear wooden shoes for 6 hours a day and the pain that will come with it. That is why I really wanted to make this video, to celebrate women in ballet and the incredible work they have to do every day to make the audience feel like they are watching something special, unique and sometimes unearthly. To go deeper into what it's like to dance on points, I asked Sawa to join me and talk about preparing point shoes, choosing them and some tips on how to use them properly. Let's go for it. So I started to wear point shoes when I was seven. And since then I, I kept searching right point shoes for my feet and like I used to change point shoes every year to see what's best for me. And then when I was 13, I, I found kind of good and comfortable shoes for me. And it was Russian shoes, Russian point shoes, uh, like Grishko or R-Class. And I was wearing that for a few years. But then I started to have ankle problem. I started to have pain there. And the reason why is that they have quite hard box so I was actually not using it but like sitting on it so all the weight goes to my ankles and that 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 is why that I started to have pain but then I I tried to change my point shoes it was not easy because I I was comfortable with the shoes and then you know change you know changing point shoes is not easy it takes time to get used to it, but I, ha I thought I had to do it because it was really bad. And then I found this brand called Soge. It's a Japanese point shoes company. And they have already prepared some shapes, but then they measure your feet, they make the size for you, for your feet. So I was like, maybe it could be good for me to actually get the shoes for my feet. So I went there and there was this lady that makes the point shoes and she saw my leg and she was like, I, she just said like, show, show your leg, show me your leg. And I just showed my leg and she was like, you have pain on your ankle, right? Or like, do you have knee pain? And she was asking me and I was like, actually, yes, like that, this is why I'm here. She was like, if you want to become a professional dancer, like if you're really serious doing ballet, then you need, you need to change how you train your body, like your shape of your leg is not looking good. And she was like, you, your legs look terrible, <laughs> she, so many things. But it was the first time that someone told me that I don't have anything like, or even worse. So I was like, shocked but at the same time I, I thought like someone that gives me the honesty I thought I could trust her and she even told me that like if you are not gonna be ready for hard work like train your core and you know actually work on yourself then I'm not gonna let you wear our point shoes because it's not worth it it's a waste of time and then I, I was like shocked but I, I thought I, I really had to do it, I have to do this to change myself. Of course it was not comfortable but then I, I had to do it. At the beginning it was really bad because I was not, I never had such a soft shoes. I was good at balancing and turning and stuff but with the new point shoes I couldn't do anything. I couldn't balance, I couldn't turn, I couldn't do anything. And it was really, really bad and I was not sure if I should keep doing it because I cannot, the things I used to do, I cannot do anymore. But then I, I really try my, push myself to do every day the exercise for my feet and for my, you know, where to put my weight. 
and the core strengthening. And so it was, of course, it took me a few years. It was not just like in a week I, I got it. I got it good. It was, it was like year work, but it was so worth it to go through, go through this process. And it was not easy, but for me, it was a big change. So here is my point shoes that I wear. They are totally new. And for, for mine, it comes with the ribbons. So there's four of them. And then I like to put it kind of in the middle. So it kind of pull up my arches. And I have this elastic, transparent elastic. Uh, this is from Chakot. It's good for me because like it's so it's for so many punches, so I don't have to buy every time. And I'm gonna I always cut it in four and I'm gonna cross it right here. But for some people prefers to have just one from the heel and some people also put two in a square. I, I also do some things with the with here. I like to darn it. So there is also so many tutorials about darning a poncho. So I guess like many people has different way to do it. But I I like to just take off the I would say the first material that is on top. I cut it around and then I make the hole with this thing. I make the hole first, so after easier to just sew it. So these are all customized for me. So I don't have to do much stuff like cutting here or there or sewing here like some people do. But sometimes like depending on what I dance, like if it's like a classical classical ballet or if it's a little bit of more like a neoclassical ballet, Sometimes I cut this, okay, I'm gonna open it. So they, there's something like this inside. And sometimes I cut this part a little bit shorter. So it's more, I don't know, softer for my shoes, for my feet. So I can, I can use it even when it's like fast movements and I need to go off balance and stuff. But yeah, that's how I'm gonna prepare my pot shoes. Personally, I like to wear them from the center work. I, I think it's really important to make sure that your feet is warm enough to, before you put point shoes. So I, I wear them every day in the class from the center work. And also, every, every time I have the rehearsal, before the rehearsal, I, I use my TheraBand to warm up my, re-warm up my toes and my ankle and yes so I think there's some few common mistake when you wear point shoes you okay I can I can maybe show it here's the shoes so I think it's really important when you go on point that you stand straight, not like this, not like this, or even you are, you see from the side, you don't push your foot over. You want to show the arch, but you don't want to over push it to show your feet because it's not, it's not about going over your feet. It's about standing straight and you use all these legs muscles to push down, but at the same time, pull up your body. So I think it's really important that you have really a good enough strength to hold your body with your feet, not with your ankle. And also important that whenever you, you are standing, even when you are flat, I think it's very important that you don't go plie this way. I, I see them, I see people doing this quite often 
because when you are on point shoes, in, when your feet is in, in the shoes, because it's really hard compared to soft shoes, you don't feel your toes as much. And then when you are not pressing, pressing the floor enough, this happens. So make sure that even in the point shoes, your feet are like this, not like this or, you know, your, your toes are spread and then you can stand straight and feet grounded to the floor and you can do plie this way, not this or this. I think that that's really important that and if you feel like your toes are too squeezed and you, your, one of your toes go, go over the others, then that means you, you don't have the right point shoes for your feet. So maybe that's the sign, also one sign to change your point shoes because you should have space to have your toes separate in your point shoes. So um, I think it's really important that you you choose the right point shoes for your feet, for your body. And you can see like the photos of me many years ago, like seven years ago, I guess. Like you can see the difference, how much the shoes can make different on your body. And so even you, if you are already like professional, so like already studying in the school, if you feel like it's not the right shoes for you, don't, please don't give up. Like for sure there is good shoes out there for your feet. And I know it's not very comfortable things to do, changing the shoes all the time. And it's really a long process to find it. When you dance, it should be part of your body and it has to be comfortable with your feet. It should be under your control, not the shoes taking over you. Hi, my name is Sawa. I'm first soloist from Moravian Theatre in Czech Republic. Thank you for watching my experience with point shoes. I'm, I'm not an expert for the fitting point shoes, but I hope my tips will help you a little bit.